Louis C.K. blasts grow sturdy Trump, backfires as his sick secret comes out months later. Celebrities who hate President Donald Trump are nothing new. There is a long list of Hollywood elites, who seem to think they know better than the American voter, but it seems that everyone on it has gotten a dose of karma in some way, shape, or form. Proving that most recently is comedian Louis C.K. who once called Trump gross and dirty, but his words just backfired in the most spectacular way as his sick secret came out months later to bite him in the backside. For some reason, celebrities seem to think that their opinions are worth more than those of the average person. Not taking into consideration the fact that the only thing that separates us from them was a few lucky breaks, the entitled brats of Hollywood most certainly like to get on their high horses and preach their self-righteous rhetoric. Despite being told to shut up and stick to what they're good at, they still act as if everyone should agree with them because of their status. Proving that back in April was Louis C.K., a comedian who is known for his edgy and often inappropriate jokes with the worst centering around women, children, and pedophilia. It all started when the comedian released an email to hundreds of thousands of people in which he compared President Trump to Adolf Hitler. Of course, he received quite a bit of attention over the remarks and was even asked onto the late show with Stephen Colbert to comment on what he had said. At the time, he admitted that he regretted the remarks but also said that he wouldn't take them back because if you took back all your mistakes, you would erase yourself, and he claimed that just because he regretted the words, that didn't make them untrue. In fact, he'd go on to double down on his sentiments, this time calling Trump a gross, crook, dirty, rotten, lying sack of SHT, as Variety reports. Of course, the liberals in the audience at the time were all cheering but their little victory would be short-lived. Too bad for him, Louis isn't quite laughing today. As it turns out, his words just blew up in his face as his own dirty little secret came out just a few months after his remarks about Trump. According to a report released by the New York Times, Louis C.K. has most recently been accused of sexual misconduct by five separate women. Although the incidents seem to have happened over a decade ago, Louis C.K. is remaining tight-lipped on the matter, but it's not doing him any good. Within mere moments of the bombshell being released, the distribution company behind his new movie announced that they would be cancelling the premiere set to take place in a few hours. Ironically, the man also cancelled an appearance he had scheduled with Stephen Colbert yet again. At this point, it's looking like we have yet another case of projection when it comes to those attacking Trump. Mad World News previously reported that Rosie O'Donnell just called Trump fat before taking a look in the mirror, and now, we have this. The worst part of this, though, is that the left has been praising Louis C.K. for quite some time. In fact, even Barack Obama laid it on thick during the radio interview in which he praised Louis for his comedic genius while admitting that sometimes his jokes could be pretty wrong. At the time, Fox News outed Louis C.K. as disgusting even airing one of his funny gags about pedophilia, but liberals just brushed it off. The fact of the matter here is that we all have skeletons in our closet, but some have much bigger ones than others. When it comes down to you, you don't get to call someone gross and dirty when you yourself are about as low as they come. What's that they say about throwing stones in glass houses? Slime balls like this are a dime a dozen and that seems to be especially true when it comes to Hollywood. Maybe it's time the entitled snobs take a look in the mirror because the longer we go here, we're finding out that the people who fill the ranks of the entertainment industry are far worse than what Trump has ever been accused of. Accused of.